praise praise the lord jesus so today i have an exclusive quite an amazing video by kirk franklin where he's opening up about the recent performance where we saw him uh, collaborating with will smith and also maverick city he's also coming clean about some of our uh, allegations here and there and then surprisingly he is asking for forgiveness yes 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 so make sure you watch that on on because man that's deep immediately after that we'll I'll, I'll just expound more on kirk franklin but that won't be the end you see i have some uh i have some very some very amazing videos as well from um, a very city they have been quite a topic right now they've been trending uh, in south africa in different parts of the world so something about maverick city you know and then pastor vlad is exposing a band there's a band that pastor vlad is exposing and that comes later on on this video so make sure you watch every part of this video uh because it's very much interconnected and if you have not yet subscribed i'll kindly request that you just click on that subscribe button i want us to grow this platform grow it even much greater just for jesus for the many who have subscribed i'm grateful i say thank you and for those who haven't yet subscribed please just click on that subscribe button as usual here we are we are always uh saying it the way it is and it's all for jesus 150 percent like the video right there so that youtube can be able to recommend this video to many more can't wait can't wait to share this so let's get into the video believe that the way to him is getting darker and darker mm. and i think that we are uh, quite a bit of the cause of a lot of the darkness mm. Mm. i need you to elaborate on that I believe that Christianity in America is turning into a scrimmage. Go on. We're no longer competing with trying to change the world's ideals of who God is and what he needs to be. Every week we're showing up just to play ourselves. <laughs> and then when you want to go and you get a call to work with a Will Smith or you get a call to work with a little baby the same people left in the stands, they kill you. Mm -hmm. And all I'm trying to say is, your kids are not listening to Shirley Caesar. No. <laughs> they barely listen to Chandler Moore. Right, right, right. And so right. if we get an opportunity to bring Jesus in the darkness, I need the team to be like, okay, y'all, we need to pray for him. Yep. Okay, y'all, he's going to enemy territory. Let's pray for him. That ain't what we're doing. No, I'm... <laughs> that uh, is I had a couple of young artists come to my studio a couple of young successful mm -hmm. artists and they saw the you know packs mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. trophies and yin 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 yeah mm -hmm. and they said oh gee what's the secret you know mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. I, I understood what the terms are mm. is I said well if you are asking me is there some formula or some something I can say to you that's really dope? I said, I think that my answer is going to be really discouraging for you. And I think it's going to be a letdown. Mm. I said, I am too insecure to allow you to forget me. Mm. That's what drives me. I can't afford to be forgotten again. So I'm going to work harder than any other artist. I'm going to stay up later than any new artist. I'm going to do more interviews than you. I'm going to shake more hands than you. I'm going to kiss more babies than you. I'm going to do everything more than you because I cannot afford to be forgotten. It ain't sexy, but it's my truth. It's my truth. Wow. <sighs> let, let me say this. Sometimes I do too much. I know I do too much. Sometimes I can do too much. Sometimes I may get up there. I'm up there feeling good. I'm dancing, moving around. Here's the problem. Here's the only problem. I got a camera in front of me the whole time. And they don't. And if they did, it'd be a... So it's sometimes sometimes whole, I, whole websites would have to come down. Sometimes I play too much. Sometimes I joke. I do. I was the kid yeah. that had to take his desk outside of the classroom. <laughs> I was always in trouble. I was always playing too much. I got ADD. I got ADHD. <laughs> I'm little. Yeah. I've been always trying to be funny, trying yeah, to tell yeah, jokes. Yeah. I always stayed in trouble. Yeah. I play too much. Yeah. I dance too much. Yeah. I act goofy too much. Yeah. I say the wrong things. I 
I do. Yeah. And I am sorry for the times that I do too much and it rubs the body wrong. I need for them to know that is not my heart. I unfortunately have a camera at times catching me be human. Uh, so, but but here here's the here's 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 the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> I love it. Cameras catch these niggas running red lights. <laughs> and you know what they do? I just want to say that I am on your team. Pray for me. Be patient with me. I'm on your team and you don't know how hard it is when you get off the bench and you go into that real world and you're trying to play for the kingdom. It ain't easy. It's not. It ain't easy. It ain't oh, it's easy. It's not, bro. And, and there's not a lot of examples you can point to that can even give you suggestions on how to play. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of people that have been over there and played well. There isn't. Can't, can't. I was up this morning and the Lord began to minister to me concerning a certain music group. Many of you know them and many of you may not know them. The Lord gave me a word concerning Maverick City and the Lord said, I've raised them up, I've exalted them and they have forgotten about me. They have compromised for the things of this world. They have forsaken my commandments. They have forsaken my laws for the things of this world. They honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Lord South Africans are canceling Maverick City. The church is in uproar as South Africans are boycotting Maverick City South African tour. Maverick City's Chandler Moore joined the club master Will Smith for his BT performance. However, many users stated that the ring of fire on the stage is a satanic ritual and that Maverick City are now members of the Illuminati. It's worth noting, Will Smith was not performing a gospel or a Christian song on stage and Maverick City's Chandler Moore is not a featured artist on the original song. You know, I, there's a band and I won't mention the name because everybody will know. When I found out when they came to Tri-Cities and the stuff that happened in the hotel after that concert. I mean, I, I don't think even non-Christian bands do that in their hotels. It almost made me throw up. It was so bad. One option, you know, I have media presence now. Go online. Expose them. I've learned not to gloat over other people's sins. There's God's timing and He will embarrass them. I don't want to be the tool that He will use to embarrass them though. Why? Because I am capable of committing sins as well. And I grieve. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's devastating. Sometimes that grief shows up in confusion. How could they? How? That's, I can't believe it. What? I'm heartbroken. But we don't rejoice over people's sins. We rejoice with those who rejoice. But we don't rejoice with those who mess up and who make a mess of their life. We, we, we grieve. It's, it's painful. Maybe a person that you had in your life, your dad, perhaps a leader that you followed, or perhaps a church that you're coming from. And maybe your pastor was your dad and marriage fell apart. And you know, your example of what this is supposed to be like is broken. It's okay to grieve. Samuel mourned. This guy, first king of Israel, supposed to be the example. Come on. How could you do that, Saul? But you don't see Samuel gloating over it. Yeah, just the way that Pastor Vlad has actually spoken, he said that you are supposed to be the example. You know, that reminds me of uh I don't know if I'll be able to get that uh, verse right now, but it's actually from uh, 1 Timothy 4, where Paul was, uh, you, see, you see where Paul was talking to T Timothy, if you remember, he wrote to him the later. And then now he was telling Paul that Paul, you, you, you see, Paul was telling Timothy that now Timothy is supposed to be a role model. Yeah. And that is, uh, and that is how, it is supposed to be you know sometimes as leaders whether you're a music leader whether you're a church leader any role of leadership but you're leading god's people definitely there's meant to be a higher standard for you so there are a few things here that are first of all when we start uh, with what Kirk franklin said 
Uh, Kirk Franklin said that his drive, you see, one of those things that really drive him, he said that uh, he, is, uh, he, he wants not to be forgotten. He wants not to be forgotten. And that got me thinking about a lot of things. That is why uh, you actually see me connect. You, you heard that there's a prophetess there who was uh, talking about Maverick City. And right there in her prophecy, she was speaking about Maverick City that they started with God. But, but now later on, they've gone to be uh, doing worldly things and everything. Because you see, if everything that is driving Kirk Franklin is that he just wants uh, not to be forgotten, then it's very shocking because what happened to what Jesus said? Jesus said that we should go forth to the whole world. We should preach the gospel. We should go and win souls. You know, like there are things that God expects us to do. There are things that are according to a Christian should be your drive. Where every day that should be your drive. And the drive should be for us to make Jesus relevant to this world like never before. To get many to, to actually come to the God side rather than going to the hell side. But rather now, if our mission is for us not to be forgotten, because that sounds like a, a drive for fame. Sounds really like a drive for fame. But that is just my opinion. I don't know what you think about that, but yo, that's that's a bit crazy. But the good side is that um, we've had uh, Franklin, he has finally apologized because of all the extremes that he has been up to lately. Uh, they have, they are actually, there's a previous video I did. If you have not checked out that video, I'll urge that you go and check it because in that video, I'm going in depth uh, on matters, uh, Kirk Franklin and some clips also about Lecrae. It was a video, it was a combination of, uh, Lecrae and Kirk Franklin. So you need to go and check out that video. If you have not, it's one of just my recent uploads. So, yeah, so, uh, so his drive for, for not to be forgotten that that actually that it it was a shock for me that was quite a shock for me but uh, there is a higher standard and uh most definitely all answers are in god you know there is a question that uh, the host asked Kirk franklin that if uh, you know if there was someone who was like a mentor for Kirk franklin when he was coming up in the game when he's still in the game, like if there's a mentor, if there's someone who's on, on his level or po probably much higher than him. And then uh, Franklin was trying to think that uh, who could that be? And he could not come up with any specific name. But you see, for any Christian, whatever field you're in, your role model should be Jesus. Just go to God's word. You know, the good thing about the Bible is that the Bible answers to your every need. It answers to your every call. There's no... There's, in short, when you're in when you're in God, you cannot be in confusion. There's no confusion in Christ. There's nothing like that. And Jesus should be our role model, because you see, when you set your role model to be maybe mentor X, mentor Y, because maybe you're a young musician, because maybe you're a young preacher, what happens when that uh, mentor of yours uh, actually goes on the wrong direction? That can really damage you that can really mess you up but when you have jesus as your role model then he is the best yeah so i hope i hope you got that i hope you got that jesus should be our role model and we should always go back to god's word and let us not forget that we are the example always so let me just get that uh, scripture as we finalize this video just let me get for you that scripture. It was actually in First Timothy. Just give me a minute here. It was on First Timothy four. Just uh, First Timothy. First Timothy chapter four. Yes, yes, yes. I have it here. Uh, for every creature, for it is sanctified. Uh -huh. uh, just, I mean, now the Spirit speaketh expressly. So this was a letter from Paul. He was writing to Timothy. But refuse profane and old uh, wives' fables, but exercise thyself rather than to godliness. For body, bodily exercise profit little, but godliness uh, having promised. This is a faithful saying. 
For therefore we labor, we suffer these things, command and teach, let no man despite the youth. But be thou an example. So this one, I've got it. So it's First Timothy 4, 12. And the Bible says that let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of believers in word. Be thou an example. And then it says you be an example for them in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Let me just read that again. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example. You see, there's a higher standard. When you're a leader, there's a higher standard. So much is expected from you. So be an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is within thee, which was given thee by uh, her. And then 15 says, Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, we ought to be an example. We ought to be an example. So, uh, I'd like to hear from you right there in the comment section. It's open. I'd like to hear what do you think about this video? What do you think about uh, Kirk Franklin's uh, confession, his apology? I'd like to hear. And I've seen a lot of uproar uh, about Maverick City. So, this video, I was not going so much in depth about Maverick City, but... Uh, what do you think? Should we should we do should we cover Maverick City? What do you guys think? Let me know right there in the comments section. Stay blessed and see you on the next video.